The following video was recorded on June 23, 2020 to demonstrate that XMPP encryption with Omemo is currently not working properly when client softwares are different. The video versions of software involved are Gajim 1.1.3, PSI Plus version 1.4.1349, and Converse.js from the URL shown here. Hello, dear friends of the internet, it is me, Edward. And today I am going to take a look at some XMPP clients. They are chat clients that uh, are frequently used to chat on the internet, uh, send instant messages back and forth. And the three clients I'm going to take a look at are PSI Plus, Gajin, and Converse.js. And I want to show you in particular how they work or fail to work when using the Omemo encryption. So let's get started with uh, three logins that we have. You can see here we have PSI Plus with someone logged in as PSI Plus Teddy. Uh, we have Gajim with someone logged in as Gajim Bernardo. And we have Converse JS with someone logged in as Converse JS Maria. These three people have uh, traded contacts, so they are in each other's lists, uh, their rosters, and uh, that's it. They've never chatted with each other before. So let's start with Gajim and Converse.js. That's where I want to begin. And so from here, if I say hello, you can see that over here, I have the debug window open and I have debug uh, logging working for Converse.js. So all of the messages appear over on this side. And we can clear the console and see them from the beginning. So right here, you can see that a message just came through. And if we take a look at it, it says someplace in there, I am Maria. So this looks like the body of the message in some place in here. Maybe it's up here. It's in this yellow one, I think. Here it is. I am Maria. So there you can see this is an unencrypted message. And uh, so they're going to continue their conversation. Hello, Maria. Let's try Omemo encryption. Okay. And so she enables Omemo. So she has to accept the fingerprints for the remote client, which she does. And now she can send the message. So over here, you can see you received a message encrypted with Omemo, but your client doesn't support Omemo. Well, that's obviously a bug of some kind. So if I try to send another message, it's still getting this crazy stuff. So, and then this one says, No se puede usar cifrado punto a punto porque Gajim Bernardo usa un cliente que no soporta o memo. Well, that's, it's basically the translation of that into English is, you cannot send a, an encrypted message because Gajim Bernardo uses a client that doesn't support o memo. Well, this is a very typical problem. I mean, this is the kind of problem that we're having. This shouldn't be like this. Uh, and usually when I try this, I can get an encrypted message through both ways after a couple of messages. But for some strange reason, it's not working. Let's try this. And let's try it again. Oh, memo. Hmm. 
yeah, it's still going like that. Not like if I click here, it still says you, you, it, it's not working. I don't know why. Uh, I'm gonna try something again. <laughs> uh, why does this not work? It usually does better than this, but it's not going so good. Mm, let's try it. No, it's still doing that. Uh, I don't know why. I really honestly am kind of shocked because Gajim hasn't had this problem consistently like that. Let's try it. If I reopen the window, hmm? Ah, that's showing encrypted and then over here you received a message and again uh, it's showing it as not not going okay i don't know that's with gajim let's try it with psi plus see if we can get anything different uh so here i am on psi plus as psi teddy psi plus teddy and if i try to say hello over here there now we get into this chat Uh, okay, so she's going to put on Omemo and he's going to enable Omemo and here you can see that he has to trust a uh, key and so he just did. And over here it doesn't show up. And she, this, she can send a message, and it is encrypted. So you can see with this little lock here, it's sent, it is encrypted, and it's decrypted on this side. But over here, nothing is going through. Nothing. OK, so if I disable Omemo encryption, and I look at this again, you can see it goes through. If I enable Omemo encryption, now before I enable it, I'm going to clear the console. And over here on the console, let's watch the message come through as an enabled Omemo message. Okay, there it is. Now, if we scroll up a little bit, you can see here's the message, and it's encrypted. It's right there. It does arrive, but it doesn't work. So it's funny because I have also tested Converse, or excuse me, I've tested Gajim, and it usually works. But for some strange reason, I cannot get it to work right now. So here it's showing, again, you received a message encrypted with Omemo, but your client doesn't support Omemo. And yet this client does support Omemo, and we get this strange message. I don't understand why that is happening now on Gajim because in the past it has worked. Uh, honestly, I have no idea. So I want to show you something that I have done that shows a difference between the messages that are sent that are being ignored by Converse.js. So this is a, an Omemo message sent from Gajim to Converse.js. And you can see how it's slightly formatted, but it's really just the same message. And then over here is a message sent from PSI Plus to Converse.js. And these messages are always ignored. At least they don't show up in the browser. They are received, but they don't show up. One thing that has me slightly suspicious is this pre-key equals one, 
Whereas over here you see that pre-key equals true. Uh, that pre-key equals one. I mean, of course, one should be true and zero should be false, but that is not the correct syntax. I was looking at the syntaxes over here. And if we look for equals, what is it? Pre key, right? Pre key. There is an example of a pre key. Oh, wait a minute. Here. Pre key equals true. So that's the syntax that's correct, and uh, the syntax that's being sent by. PSI plus to Converse.js is pre-key equals one. Maybe that's the reason why the messages are not being shown. I don't know. Anyway, that's my presentation for the day. You can see that Omemo works really well when we're talking about the same client being tested. So if I send from PSI plus to PSI plus, it works. Uh, I've also had good luck sending messages from PSI Plus to Gajim and from Gajim to PSI Plus in Omemo. That seems to work pretty well. But with Converse.js, as you can see, some things are not working out right. Thank you for watching. Bye.